Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Slaw YouTube channel. So recently we have got a lot of questions and queries on parallel controller and one of our subscriber and friend Mr. Dinesh Agason has asked me to explain about the parallel controller through LinkedIn. So I'm preparing this video. I'm making this video for him and for everyone who are watching this. So this parallel controller is again a controller which is similar to other logical controllers. So here I have created a parallel. I've added a parallel controller. And before that, I will show you how to download and install the parallel controller. So I have gone to this JMeter plugins.org and I have searched for the parallel controller and I have downloaded the latest version which is 0 0.11, which has got a lot of fixes and this works from the version 5.3 and here you can see it this works from 5.3 and so first i have tried this with the version 5.6 which is the very latest version i had so when i was running using the latest version the 5.6 i've got a lot of issues so there is a lot of incompatibility between the parallel controller and the version 5.6 and this has to be fixed so a big no for those who want to try using or who are using this parallel controller with the version 5.6 it will not it will never work with 5.6 so i have moved to the previous version so uh, before i have missed to tell you this so how did i install this so after i have downloaded so i have got the file so i have got ext under the ext i have got two jars which i have saved it under the let me go back to the live folder so here under the ext i have saved i have copied those two files and then under the lib i have got this jar file the jmeter plugins common jmeter.0.4 and i have copied this under the library folder under this here so i have, after after copying this i have restarted my jmeter so that the changes any changes and this is not only for the parallel controller this is for any uh plugin or any changes or any control that you're using so you have to restart so that the jmeter will pick it up so then what i did is i have tried using the 5.5.2 version so i will show you how to use the parallel controller and what are the advantages and limitations of using the parallel controller let me open the parallel controller here and here i've got the parallel control so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a thread group so the parallel controller comes inside the thread group like any other logical controller so here we have got multiple controllers and if you have missed any of my videos on the other controllers please do check in the playlist so here today we are going to discuss about the parallel controller so i'm adding the parallel controller and first i will show you i'll give a demo on how to use or how to run multiple requests under a parallel controller and I will show you how does it work and then we'll move on to the next steps. So the first thing is I'm going to add a HTTP request. So I'm selecting sampler HTTP request and after any HTTP request I will add a think time and that's a mandatory one. So I'm adding a think time under the HTTP request and that's going to be coming outside of it. Let me just cut it. Let me add a think time after the so we can add either ways we can add it yeah. under uh, uh, inside a sampler or inside a request or we can add it next to the request so here i will choose adding because there is a difference in in that so let me do that way so i'm adding a uniform random timer and then let me add another request or let me duplicate this part let me just copy paste 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 and paste and then let me give the transaction name for this so this is going to be the transaction name so we can understand how does it work this is going to be 0, 01 0, 02 and then for the third one it's going to be 0, 01 and 0, 03 and here it's going to be 0, 01 and the latest the final is 0, 04 and then we have the random timer so i'm going to set the random timer just for a demo purpose it's going to be three seconds just 3000 milliseconds here and let me update it for every other uniform random timer <clears throat> so 
So now we have set up the parallel controller. Under that, I have set up the requests. And then let me add the listener to see how does it work or how does it populate. OK, let me remove this, sorry. And I will add it under the thread group. The view results tree and the view results tree. OK, so now let me save this under the parallel controller demo folder and it's going to be parallel controller demo jmx yeah so let me run this and i'll show you what happens so when i'm running it okay this fails for a reason okay let me make it a valid one so that let me go to the headstone application and the request and then let me get this request come back here this is and this is going to be my first request and then the same way I can change it to for copy it for the other requests as well let me save it let me clear it and then let's start the test so here you can see a weird thing or a different thing I would say which is we have any we have we are having these requests in an order like one two three and four but when you see it here it starts in a, a random order I would say like it started with four and then the one and then three and two which is like completely random and there is one more thing which is it has not picked up the timer which is after the test and in fact all these tests have got really quick so there is one way to fix it which is we can add this timer and inside the request so that we can do so let me show you the difference between the parallel controller and the simple controller so what i'll do is let me change this controller to a simple controller and i will show you what happens so now this is a simple controller. so here on the top you can see the top in the middle here it's a simple controller and i have not cleared it let me run it on top of it so that you can see the difference and before that let me disable these timers because they'll get added to the list so let me disable and let me run the test again and here now you can see for every three seconds we'll get a request and but they come in a proper order like one two and then three and then the fourth request so here you can easily understand the difference so any other controller like any other controller, i would say even i would i will like change it to a different controller like even once only or even need to leave okay there are like several controllers we have like let me try with the uh, again like this is something closer to random controller i would say because even if i choose the random controller so now we have the random controller here and if i run it you can see for every three seconds we have got we are getting a request which is almost similar to the parallel controller so so the one thing which we can see here is it's quite different but again in the random controller you can see in all these four requests we have got just only one request that has been executed but in the parallel controller 
we have got all the four requests hit but they were in a different order so that's the difference between the random and then the parallel controller and then again with the simple and the parallel controller which is the order so the order of execution is different right so that's one thing which we have to note down when it comes with the controller so these are like different controllers and they have always have the flexibility to work on their own so for example if i'm choosing random order controller so right so i'm choosing the random order controller let's see what's the difference between the random order controller and the parallel controller and when i go back to the results table and when i start running the test for every three seconds we are getting a request so just four and then one so you can see a similarity between the random order controller and the parallel controller but again there is a small difference which is the random order controller is picking up the thing type but the parallel controller has not picked up the thing time and it has got like executed in just a fraction of a second so that is again a small difference between so we have the flexibility to choose any of these controllers because as i told you so i have given you a demo on a simple controller in in which order they execute and then i have showed you about the random controller in which order they execute and then now i have showed you about the random order controller in which they follow a random order and then they execute every request in a random way random fashion but still they follow the thing times in between them right so these are these small differences okay so so far we are done with this and then let's move on to the next part which is i'm going to add a logical controller so in this case i'm going to add a simple control to make it very simple so i'm adding simple controller one and then let me add another simple controller so i have got two simple controllers so this is simple controller one and then this is simple controller two right so now i'm going to copy all these transactions here i'm going to cut and paste it inside and then again the same for controller two so now let me change these transaction names to make it clear like which transaction is getting executed okay so so now the simple controller one will have transactions and simple controller of one that starts with one and simple controller two will have transactions that starts with two so now we have two simple controllers inside a let me change the controller to parallel controller so now we have got a parallel controller which is our main objective of seeing today and then inside the parallel controller i have got two different controllers which is two different simple controllers with two different set of requests right now i have got just one thread so i'll demo you what happens when we are running it with the one thread tool. Let me clear all the requests to see clearly what happens. So let me start the test. And here you can see and we have got the requests which is first from the 0 to the first request and then 0 1 first request and then 0 1 second request and 0 2 second request, 0 to third, 0 1 third, 0 to fourth and then 0 1 fourth. So in this way we were able to control the transactions i mean that the order of transactions so for example here you can see if we are seeing it separate it is like one two three and four and same way for one two three and fourth so we were able to control the order of execution if we are bringing it under a simple controller but they comes under a parallel controller and again you can see we have got one thread group and they were executed in like one thread is able to execute them but not in a following up fashion so for example if the parallel controller is trying to execute it should first exec execute the simple controller one and then simple controller two but here you can see it's picking up transactions from both the controllers at the same time so even we can try a similar one like let me copy paste sorry let me copy and uh, let me bring it out so remove and then let me paste it here paste it one more one more so this is this will actually give us an idea on how it's not about only just two so when we are having like too much of controllers we can get a clear idea on how does this parallel controller really kicks in the transactions so let me copy this and we'll paste it here one more 
okay no more then let me move on to the fourth one the fourth sample controller here fourth and then one more and now let's move on to the fifth controller here so now we are in the fifth one So now we have got all the five simple controllers inside a parallel controller. Now let me clear this and let's start. So this is with the, again I'm showing you, this is with one thread user, like one thread. And here you can see we have got all the uh, first transactions of all the simple controllers at the same time, but they were in the same order. So here you can see all these were picked up in different order so for example if you want to run a huge number of tests with different scripts you can very well choose this because this will actually choose the scripts on random but again there is again uh, you need to have a limitation of the user because here one user is able to access all these transactions in regular intervals but what if in the case of two so if, if you want to run it with two users or if you want to run this particular controller with three users i mean like just for example and if you want to run it for twice like two times uh, just the iteration part so when you run it you can see a lot of transactions that has been triggered at the same time but they were in a proper order so one good thing is they were in a proper order because they were controlled by the simple controller but again the simple controllers were controlled by the parallel controller so there is always a distribution of services or distribution of requests by the parallel controller so parallel controller is always a good choice in case if you want to run multiple combination of mix of scripts but you have to make sure that you are so for example if you are running if you want to run it with the so let me i, I can even show you what have what will happen if we are let me add uh, generate summary results and let me close this so that we can understand in what criteria do they and let me just choose another aggregate graph oh, so yeah I think this one should help us. Okay, let me just close it. Or I can add another graph. Sorry, another um, summary report. Yeah, this will actually give us a clear idea on what happened. So we have got three users, two iterations. And let me start the script. So I'll start running the test. And here we can see the first request has got three iterate three hits which is since we have got three users so all three users will hit the first request same way all the three users will start hitting the request and since we have got two iterations so here it's very clear that all these requests will be hit twice so the number of hits and the rate has been controlled but they will be executed in a different order so in case if you are very clear about the number of throughput you are very well good or you can take advantage of using this parallel controller and running this request but again when you are running the requests instead of parallel controller they will be in a random fashion but it always you can use the controllers again you can take advantage of the simple controller or any other controllers to control the flow of the execution inside the parallel controller so this is how the parallel controller works we will see about the parallel sampler in our next video so until then it's bye bye from wasan shanmugam and little slav please don't forget to comment in, a, in for any of your doubts or queries in the comment section or you can reach out to me on linkedin and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel share the video with your friends and don't forget to like our video